In a letter dated the 6th of March 2023, President Yoweri Kaguta Museven directed the Prime Minister to instruct the Permanent Secretary and Secretary to Treasury to earmark 30 billion shillings to the state-owned national broadcaster UBC in the new financial year running 2023-2024 for its operations and growth. The same letter directed all government advertisements to go through UBC and the new vision with stringent conditions pegged to it to dismiss any accounting officer from duties who will act non-compliant to his directive as a minimum punishment. Since then, the letter has caused a storm in a cup of tea with private media owners under their umbrella body, the National Association of Broadcasters, jumping onto the bad wagon with compromised researchers falling short of explaining how national broadcasters and state-owned publications are funded world over. So we are working out modalities to see how the guidance from the president can be implemented but also the interests of the private sector are accommodated. The 18th July 2023 media brief remarks for quarter one expenditure for the financial year 2023-2024 by the Permanent Secretary Minister of Finance Ramadan Ngobi acted as the last nail on the coffin to enforce the presidential directive. And I hope accounting officers are listening once again that they are required to ensure that they communicate, not communicate, they advertise, prioritize advertisement with government-owned media. The respect we give the private broadcasters should be the same respect we give to UBC, or even maybe to an extent UBC should even enjoy bigger respect from government because it's a government broadcaster, and that's why the president is writing that we should give it priority, and indeed, we are going to give it priority. The Minister for ICT and National Guidance, Dr. Chris Wayomosi, advised hired propagandists by the National Association of Broadcasters, NAB, to frankly advise their funders to swallow their pride, accept and respect the presidential directive. We shall not, as government, undermine UBC. The intentions of government are actually to upgrade UBC, to strengthen the UBC, to elevate it into a broadcaster that reaches all corners of the country and beyond, and we want to build its capacity to make it number one broadcaster in this country. So even those red cards, we shall have to review them, and the government departments should not undermine UBC. According to Bariomo, the protest indicated in the letter written by NAB threatening to boycott all government functions will not change the status quo nor influence the decisions and powers of the fountain enshrined in the constitution to manage the affairs of the state. They should turn down on the excitement because we received this uh, guidance from the president and I have discussed this with the leadership of NAB and we are trying to examine the guidance from the president with a view of looking at how to operationalize it. The president's decision looks at improving the efficiency, quality and access media coverage of the state-owned media outlets, especially with the tip on how private media owners have in one way bribed government bureaucrats, managing votes of ministries and agencies to offer them revenue for government adverts meant for the national broadcaster UBC and its affiliates, state partly owned publication, the new vision. Because the challenge has been that government departments look at UBC as one of their own and uh, they want to give it work to broadcast and publish without paying UBC and yet UBC has been getting little money in the form of subvention from government. So that's why we are saying in addition to the subvention from government we also support UBC through giving it adverts from government, paid adverts, so that we can raise money and be able to run UBC very efficiently. So the instruction stands. 
However, as UBC and Vision Group keep silent, there are camps of hired ill-informed researchers and social media influencers on how national broadcasters are funded to continue trolling and ethical propaganda. Malice and sabotage, hate speech and behaving and professional. But for the media house which has served all generations, the cries of the squirrels can't put it down. Robert Onyango, UBC News.